This is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Chromebook 11 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Chromebook 11 laptop computer. Okay, before we get started, there's a couple of things that we need to know about this particular model. For uh, this Chromebook 11, it has a plastic lens in front of it. It has a plastic shield in front of it mounted on the screen bezel in front of this screen. So oftentimes it's not the screen that's broken, but the plastic shield in front of the screen. And the way to tell when one's broken instead of the other, if the screen is broken, you will see distorted images or cracked images on the screen. The screen will be working properly. That's if the screen is broken. Now, if the screen is working properly, but you see cracks on the plastic in front, that means the plastic shield in front is broken. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace both. So before we get started, I'll show you the tools that we're gonna use. We have a small PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. And we have a metal spudger, and that's to uh, that's to probably open the screen. And um, I'll show you how to how to use this tool in a little bit. Okay, well, as I said before, this laptop, the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, also includes a clear plastic shield that covers the screen, and we need to snap that off but before we need to before we snap that off we need to snap off the hinge cover on the bottom so the way you do this is you use the prying tool and gently pry up on the side and you'll hear snapping sounds and once you do that you go around the, by through the seam in the front and just gently pry up like so until the this part is off the plastic hinge cover is off now to put it back on what you want to do is put it back on like so and then just snap it into place with your fingers like so if you have trouble snapping into place what you do is you close the laptop and then snap it into place on the back and if you need it can get the spudger like so to help you until it snaps into place. Okay, while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where the model number is. Um, this says Dell Chromebook 11, and this is CB1C13. Dell Chromebook 11, CB1C13. If uh, this model might be a little bit different from time to time, but if your laptop looks similar to what is pictured in the video for Dell Chromebook 11, it's the same procedure. All right, when we open up the laptop again, it's going to turn on automatically. And when that happens, you want to make sure the laptop is turned off. So we press the power button long enough for the laptop to turn off. The laptop is now safe to work on again. Okay, so we're gonna snap off the plastic hinge cover again. And then it's time to take off the screen bezel. Uh, this one, it's a little bit more tricky than usual to take off because there's two adhesive foam pads on top behind the screen bezel that you have to remove also. So what we're going to do is start on the corner and with our prying tool start snapping it off on the sides. You want to do it on the sides and not on top because we want to get to the foam adhesive pads last. So basically you just work the seam and keep snapping it off until it comes off like so. And go on the top a little bit 
And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Find a place in the seam where you could insert the prying tool and gently open the seam and listen for the snapping sounds. And keep going. And take your time on this. This it won't come off right away. But if you take your time, it will snap off like so. Okay, once you get the bottom, what you want to do is go in the middle and snap it open in the middle a little bit. And when you open up the seam, you see the adhesive pads. You feel them. You feel the adhesive coming off. And if you have trouble with this part, if you, the adhesive pads are having trouble coming off, what you can do is heat up, use a blow dryer to heat this part up and the adhesive will come off. So here's, you can see the adhesive pad right here and it adheres to the bezel. So we're gonna do the same thing. You will hear the sound of the adhesive pad. Okay, and when you open up, you can see that part of the adhesive pad is on the bezel and part of it's on the on the screen assembly so what you want to do is use the spudger tool to lift up the adhesive pad from the bezel and work the adhesive pad off the bezel and we're almost there be careful not to damage the adhesive pad. Okay, and you saw that the, finally the bezel snapped off and comes off. Okay, if it's just this bezel that's the problem that's broken, that's all you have to do is find a new bezel and then and then just snap it back on making sure that the adhesive pads which are right here go on properly. Now if it's the screen itself we keep working on it and another note when you have the bezel make sure not to put any fingerprints on the back don't touch the back or if you do you can use a glass cleaner or lens cleaner wipe to wipe it off to remove any fingerprint smudges and also it might be helpful to put some uh, to spray some canned air on there to remove any dust before you put it back on so let's put the bezel to the side and now let's look at the screen. This is a it's a slim screen and it's 11.6 inch and it's mounted on the sides with some metal mounting tabs. So what you want to do is tilt the screen back a little bit so it doesn't fall forward on you and use the little screwdriver to remove the four screws. There's two on top here and there's two on bottom. That's the screws that are holding the screen in. These screws right here, I'll leave those alone. They're, they're not part of the screen. So we remove the four screws. One. Two. Three. and four. And we tilt, once we do that, we tilt the screen forward so it comes forward and you can, there's some adhesive on the back but not too much and we lay the screen down. When you do that, uh, make sure not to lay it on the power button here because you don't want to inadvertently press the power button and turn the laptop on when you lay the screen down. Okay, next step is to remove this connector. There's only one connector connecting to the screen and it's secured by some adhesive mounting tape. So you want to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape 
and work it off so you have a big enough piece to lift it up and gently lift up the tape and pull the tape back until you expose the connector okay once the connector is exposed you want to remove the connector but this cable is a little bit tight so we want to loosen it a little bit so we have more to work with and there's some adhesive on the bottom so now that we have more to work with we want to grab the connector and pull it backwards not up but backwards and pull it out like so and now the screen is free okay before we go on I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector because sometimes that's a source of trouble so when you reconnect it you slide it in when you slide it in you'll feel but not hear two clicks and let's get a close-up of the connection okay pause the video right here there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other okay and once again we pull the connector out and let's take a look at this screen this is a 11.6 inch EDP slim screen uh, be careful with this screen when ordering a replacement because there's one that looks almost identical to this one that's a very common screen for Chromebooks but it is different the way it's different is the connector it's a little bit bigger on the other screen this connector is a little bit smaller and the mounting holes are a little bit different uh, the best way to tell if it's the right screen is by the part number and the part number for this screen is N116BGE-EA2 so whenever you order the screen make sure you either have this part number or that the screen is specifically specified as a EDP screen and also that it has a 30 pin connector rather than a 40 pin connector okay we at screen surgeons have this exact screen type available for sale and we have a compatibility guarantee so we guarantee you that we'll ship the right screen and this chromebook is used by schools around the country so we specialize in working with schools for uh, this specific type model and this specific type screen okay to buy this screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com and there will be a short form for you to fill out where you fill out the model number and that will guide you to buy the right screen online if you work with a school uh, send us email directly for a price quote and we work with purchase orders the email is wefixscreens at gmail.com. Wefixscreens at gmail.com. And we'll get back to you with ordering instructions and the quotation. Okay. And um, for retail customers, uh, this toolkit or one very similar like to this comes for free with the screen, with every screen we ship and shipping is included in the price we ship priority mail so if you live in the united states you get it within two or three days of ordering if you live outside of the united states uh, just go through the normal checkout procedure and then select your country also finally for this screen bezel uh, we should have it in stock by the end of 2014 so once again if you work with a school send us email regarding the availability of it or if you're a retail customer just say you need the screen bezel in the short form that you fill out okay once you do have this screen mount it in the back of the screen assembly or before you mount it reconnect to the connector mounted in back of the screen assembly guide guide the video cable on the bottom so it's not s sticking out mount the two screws on top and the two screws on bottom then uh, make sure you uh, make sure the back of the screen bezel is clean 
with a duster or a lens cleaner and then snap the screen bezel back on making sure it properly adheres to the adhesive strips on top and then snap the hinge cover on top after that like I showed you and um, that should be it. Okay, once again, my name is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.